And now it's just Division alone. Impulse has to do it. The Peacekeeper, he's got three oh. more shots with which to do it, but shield there's swap. so much madness in front of him. Oh, he gets a shield swap as well. Can he do any more? Kicks the door down. I'm coming, baby. And let's see if you can handle this. Oh, he cannot, Danny. What a play from Magicians. It wasn't a trick after all. It was real magic. And that is what Stanny is known for. What a play, what a clutch. And you can see here, players, Rebels still alive. Magicians as well, uh, able to do such great work. Fenerbahce holding on in the center building where most of these teams of the last six are still fighting around, but not on Rebel takes a quick down. It is players who might just be in the best position from here, James. And Hardecki with a wingman in his hand. We Look know at how the these final control. circles end up going. I know, and it's a quick fa phase breach. They don't like what they see. This might just be a better spot for them to end. I love this composition. They can force the other teams to just go and fight each other. They can't find angles on players because of those Bangalore smokes. They have the rotation as well, and they can Ooh. just pick people off. It's like peeling a scab off a knee. Looks absolutely disgusting, but they're thoroughly enjoying it. Players now getting more KP, moving up to eight on Hardecki alone. Absolutely outrageous stuff from them. And again, there's smokes everywhere. Everybody's forced to look at everybody except for players. And they can just pick them off one by one. They're not going to have to move when the circle moves in. They're going to have the most open space possible in this lobby. What a rotation from players. Eight kills on the side of Hardecki. Finnerbache and the rest of the teams cannibalizing each other, eating each other's resources. And so when they face the big giant, they're not even going to get a chance to do so. It is Leogri and players cleaning up the lobby. What a clinic. Kill and getting eighth place. And you can see just madness going about in solo queue goats. A lot of people are going to be happy to see them here still doing quite well with all three players still alive and inside that this oh. next last zone they're going to be looking decent but they need to fight maybe a GB shield soon it must be most likely here on a cooldown two people down one of them the GB and that should be the end here for solo queue goes one player is still alive. alive still alive here but it's going to be extremely extremely tough he's getting pressured from every single angle here in the meantime IG they took the best position Oh, IG just biggest. dropped blasts of all people to drop. They dropped their fellow teammate with the I... wingman shot. That got to feel... Oh, wow. They don't In... know it, but we do. Invictus Gaming is sending their regards. <laughs> now the zone choked out. Five squads remaining. Mutarium here on the end. Oxbo, a single member here for T-Rex in his own right. Mutarium looking for that shield swap. Unlucky pulling back in. Kick above. Solo Q goats out on the side. Look, Shiv was pulled back up, but he is broken just as quickly. I'm actually surprised they were able to pick him up there. But I think Solo Q goes. Only two players there. I don't think they were able to pick up all three. I like this stuff. Calling down the revives for the extra bit of cover. It can be so, so three huge. squads. Kick all eliminated here as well. Q. Straight on top of each other. This is this is Invictus's time to move in. They wipe Solo Q, but look at how low Mutarium lasts. They hide within their dome there. A 2v3. Bryn to turn towards that Peacekeeper. Find the pumps necessary. Find the damage to bring about the end tier of Mutarium. Once again, Invictus Gaming, they're your champions for the second time today. They know someone's below them, and they know someone may be to the right, and that's GMT sitting inside the building. But Kangarna and Robin, those are the teams that they have to worry about. If you delay your drop, you can force GMT and Kangarna to fight each other. Robin, let it be the variable that you hope bounces your way. You can't win a game like this, and you can't win a tournament like this without getting a little bit lucky and having someone look to the left or the right when they should have or could have been focusing you. The Skyward Dive sends them up. But where will they come crashing down? The final circle, four squads left. It's all up to Solo Q Goats. Can they clutch it up here? That's the hottest drop of all time. Their dome was forced earlier by a bombardment. We've got ults in every direction. This is going to be painful for all concerned. The ring is closing. And we still have four squads somehow. Solo Q Goats, they've got smokes to work with as well. They can create space for themselves. Ooh. We've got Nasky in no man's land. Gravity will bring him back down. We've got domes up as well. And shotguns all over the shop. Nasky dropping Nasky, and we're down to three squads now. GMT trying to heal up. 
trying to shield up as fast as they can while the domes are still here. And again, Solo Q Goats, they've got the pill to hide behind. Then they've got the smokes if they want to use them as well. A Crypto Wall's coming through. There is pain and there's no, there's no heal from that. This is nothing but pain for all concerned. GMT have got a pretty good angle at the moment, actually. They've got cover. They can chill for they a do. while. Solo Q Goats are getting absolutely battered. And GMT Esports have a chance to be the last man to come into the fight, the last team to approach it all. Three squads left. Solo Q Goats are still alive. What is happening? Max Strafe takes to the sky. Oh, oh my god! The most valuable missile swarm in the history of Apex Legends. Half the lobby takes half the damage. And GMT Esports, they get the victory in game five. We are back, they say. And they an insane finish there. Now, Blast here on the T-Rex roster, the former Invictus Gaming teammate, the kill leader with four to his name. Meanwhile, we'll update, Denze did fall as a rat on his own, so Totem here on the other end, Invictus and T-Rex, one more squad. Looks like the Rats has been flashed out here pretty much completely, now we have only full teams left alive and it's going to be so interesting to see maybe we can get a map view to see where these teams are hiding right now exactly we can see two teams in the building here one team right in front and where's this one other squad i haven't been able to locate yeah, game of drones they're sitting right on top of invictus gaming taking advantage of this high ground playing around those ables or those angles and john more importantly with that loba can be able to take advantage of all the chaos provide last with that black market boutique and keep this team healthy in terms of their trades and abilities here especially from a position like this would be very advantageous yeah this positioning right now from game of drones is going to be able to get them quite a few kill points because they have that high ground they don't have to mess with everyone else there before unless right zone closes them in they don't have to jump down they have time right now look at this I'm gonna try to pop some shots here. Gibby is going to be able to come down and actually survive. Trying to pop some shots here. Rondon trying his best, but it most like won't be enough. But it's white. Ox goes down. White armor. No, that's not. not I was gonna say that's not even corny. That's not even the revive player. They take down Oxbow in full force and actually get the full thirst. It's Joan from afar with the Arc Star to secure that one. Totem's also providing damage on the other angle here. This might be it for T Rex. Only one member left standing there. Old bat found with a dome down. They might be able to pick up that revive. Yeah, Totem right now here trying to play the other side of this circle and probably having quite a good spot here for a while as the zone is not that close to them. Game of Thrones might have to jump down earlier as before Totem has to slow face. Now in the meantime though, we have another team there on the low for or under Game of Thrones trying to fight for the right time. We just saw the other team lose a player. This is gonna be an exciting last minute and oh it's starting right now drones are flying down domes are flying down as well i told you try to find some drones invictus they haven't quite moved out of the building yet but they will be forced to here soon totem not quite getting what they want on the game of drones but game of drones oh will take God. the fight directly here to invictus and totem <laughs> from behind well it's just their job to clean up meanwhile kearney he's been lasting on the side to finish in second as totem are your game one winners they should be paid extra because that was the fastest cleanup I've seen in quite a bit. Even worse than the shooting range yesterday. They just took shot after shot after shot. And it's going to be now looking at Invictus. They were all the way out holding off teams as they made their way out of the Geyser Village. They themselves going to try for a late rotation. And already, Urban sniped out of the sky. It is Cleave. Big golden backpack revive provided here from Noises, but for how long? Now all these teams beginning to cluster. Yeah, ANC outplayed though. By far the best, best position at best this position. point in time. By far, right? Right now there's not too many people that can. There's not much line of sight that you can have because it's so, so tiny to circle and talking about a tiny circle. This is going to be the last time we get this. together. Teams are being punished from above. ANC outplayed here having a but will they be able to find the right timing to get down there and yeah look for the fights well right now they've got to hope that most of the fights transpire here to give them yeah. some clarity once they are forced to drop remember they are the farthest position away from where this zone closes they will click quickly lose out on that high ground axis here and once that becomes a problem 
then you have to wonder where do they go look at teams like scars though on the other end of this one they have the full rock ahead of them to play for cover once that drop comes through scars might be able to take advantage of all the angles towards their side here you have to wonder though who's towards their south who also sits below them Oh, I just thought that the bubble on the high ground has been used and that is, I think, going to be a big mistake for ANC Outfit because when they jump down, they will have no cover whatsoever. They need the other teams to be really, really busy, otherwise that might be disaster. Though in the meantime, Game of Drones here still in this one with all three squad members still alive on red armor as well. This might be a possibility for them to win. The black market is going to be alive. What can they get? Probably some ammunition, maybe some seal swaps. They are in a good position to do the shield shoe swapping as well as the drone is quite far away. Outplayed. Game of Drones. Scars. The three teams that are a full three-man roster. Final zone closing in here. Wilhelm immediately pressure drops. Already starting to begin here. Dome down. NC outplayed now deciding to go down. It's not their dome, but they're gonna use it. They still have this dome from their own teammate. They're ready to go, and that's going to be huge for them. Scars, though, we can see them here on the outskirts. Scars. With great line of sight down to all these teams clumped up together. We can see them around this building, around this vehicle. Now, Scars actually deciding to go in. No, I think that wouldn't be the best decision right now. You should be staying outside. Let these team fight. It's only three squads left alive. The perfect situation for you is being that third party right now to make sure it's that you get so the W. Close. She we know she's good. Fact. Defensive bombardment down. This will pressure with the damage. That cart though will last and you have to question when will the squad pull the trigger. Outplayed, they are quickly punished from the majority of that damage. Rondon providing it, especially with that alt. And that brings us down to our final two. And look at Game of Drones. They're fairly healthy. Dome down. Finally, outside of the cart here. Scars have been preparing for this all game long. Several shots found. And Scars, your second victor of the day here in C versus D. Very well played here by Scars, biding the time, waiting for the opportunity. Picking, by the way, a great spot there to make sure nice if they can get it back. Nemesis and Vex now both down one player. Invictus, in the nick of time, have swooped around the backside to take advantage of the chaos and find the only high ground position available here. They have even cover to work with from this angle. IG right now, they are on 18th place. This game could be a complete turnaround when it comes to their placement. Where could they finish in the meantime though with five squads left alive? IG putting a lot of pressure here on Vex Gaming though. Would be missing some crucial shots here. The aggression will stop and no shield broke. Therefore, no call maybe for aggression. In the meantime, we see IG finding yet more kills. It's going to be the Reds, Mania and Tolkien finding an early grave. Well, actually a relatively late grave here. But Urban is going to be able to pick this one up. Vex Gaming with only one player left alive and IG a poised. Yeah, I mean look at his position here. IG actually only team left alive as they're going to be able to win the last game of the day and after all their heartbreak and the struggle from the games before they can reward themselves with a nice victory. Saint Phoenix Legacy, solo Q goats as a solo, you have GMT, you have Scars popping off, Reply Totem also having to play this as a duo just off to the side here. Scars are all up and healthy. They're right behind this replicator. Yeah, they had those package weapons, but they also have the replicator in case they need more ammo for that massive looking at Monde. Yeah, it's not looking too good. You almost want to craft a second weapon if you're able to in that type of situation, but there's no time with the zone moving and the pressure is coming through. Speaking of ammo, running low on that flatline right there. Maybe just want to use the missile swarms. There goes the EMP. Looks like they're trying to take this fight down to reply totem as Taishin from Scars is going in on this one. Amaz, the last one alive. That's the cleanup. There's the weapons that they needed. There's the extra ammo and the shots from Sir Dal. Holy Mastiff. GMT have been popping off. Can they match up with Scars now as they move in? They already used up that dome, or rather, they're pushing through that dome. Scars, though, have the high ground here. See, r putting all that pressure with the Wingman. He gets the crack, but he loses Taishin, and he gets shot across the field. He doesn't really have that much cover, and Scars, on the other side of the field, managed to take it home. There go next. That's a huge, huge way. They still have to traverse and look at all the teams that are all around. Alpha Draft doesn't seem like he was able to get the revive at all totem oh totem i like where totem is playing I told you i really like what totem is playing now i'm just questioning where players are oh 
Players are on the outskirts here, the truck on the other side. Another great position uh, for the end of this zone here. Both players and Totem have the only right now. Samsung, Align, Zeta, they're all going to be forced to rotate out from the POI directly, and as a result, they're going to get potentially beamed when forced to make a move like that. So Hardeki, Ardiko, they're doing a great job here, just keeping control down. Zeta Division probably in one of the worst positions. Squished by everywhere, Samsung behind their back, Alliance and players in front of them. Five squads left alive, finally able to make the climb happen. Zeta Division now. In a very good spot, Alliance <laughs> finding himself in the middle of this building in a big fight here. Yuki able to find the knock onto Nissa and going for the revive. Will it be able to do so? There is a knock player right in front. They will be able to get the finish now. The damage is coming in. 13 damage done straight away. SMS here, they're able to drop Vives yet again. Now going for the second attempt on this revive. This time a little bit more cover to play with. The zone there was only fake. They have a little bit more time. Oh, 93 damage onto White, and that's most likely going to be the end. No, he has to turn around, and that's the right decision with a slither of health actually he's been taken down here by the molotov there those for that's damage really doing the trick and morning stars wow. oh my god and she has to use the mini heals as well that's going to take a while until you in full hp in the meantime though alliance Huck is trying to do his most as the last player left alive and he's going to be taken down alliance going down on fourth and fifth actually morning stars here going down on fourth with only three squads left alive and look at that players in an awesome awesome position and sometimes it does this make sense it. to listen to the uh, to the casters they were right this positioning is awesome uh, this is what we've seen players do multiple times before on Stormpoint. They utilize those Bangalore spo uh, smokes to cause chaos and to disrupt what vision is available here. Totem, they've got to be extremely careful. Once that zone pushes them out and away from their rock there, I don't know if they're going to be able to see what is in front of them. Sadly though, players, they do have to defend against Zeta first. Taskmaster is brought down and with one last, that'll be it here. Watch out. Rolling Thunder was brought down. And that was a really good use of pressure there. Yeah, you did say the free and getting the free here in the final moments of this game. Players able to take out the first player, but losing one in the meantime. Are they going to be able to get another player? No, Leogri is going to be completely alone. And replay taught him reign superior. First game won here on Stormpoint, and it's going to be a great win at that. Reply told him, taking the W. Fantastic from them. We called out that cave, the control of the outside from the very beginning there, and they managed to hold on. They didn't push aggressively. They didn't try to take any major firefights that would have put them at a disadvantage. This is Alliance. The rat, technically on Alliance's side here, might throw a wrench into these plans. You. I mean, it cannot be understated how how critical that could potentially be if they are not careful shades willing to pressure Zeta, though. They are on the low ground. They are constantly at a disadvantage here. Yes, they do have the three red shields, that extra health that might provide here, but they're going to be fighting into open ground here, especially if Alliance do not give up this tree. No rolling thunder on impulse. Sunset, I don't know what might be available in task only on the hunt for him. It's going to be an insane finish. Now, secretly, I am hoping that the one red wins this whole thing just because I always love a story like that. Though that's going to be a very unlikely task as both of these teams are really, really good at what they do. Odin Gamers is going to be the, actually the third squad here doing quite a bit of damage, but drawing a little bit too much attention maybe to him for now. So the division has found where he is. They're trying to maybe get the finish here. Maybe they don't have the information of how many players are still alive there on the side of Odin Gamers. We know it's only one, and this is going to shape up to be most likely a 1v1 or a 3v3 depending on how he wants to look at it between Alliance it's and down. oh it's starting Shade it actually getting the drop yes Shade's getting the drop here from the side and now Sita being dropped as well oh this might be absolute chaos in a few seconds Shade's also continuing to pressure here that rat that we discussed might actually be what punishes Alliance out still though Zeta no real cover to work with here as the zone continues to choke Taskmaster down, Impulse left to defend as Yuki finds that drop. A one and one on both sides here. Shades healthy from above, shaking oh. to the skies here. He's just waiting for his opportunity. Oh. Look at the beams! Oh, he just finished, oh. he just finished center. Alliance it's Alliance slow. v Odin. I'm not 100% sure how many players are down by Alliance. 
and the shades already doing an incredible job. 142 damage, but it won't be enough. Alliance just barely clinging onto that win, but finally we can say the words: Alliance win game four of the day. Now IG is going to be getting eliminated. A lot of squads. You can see the kill feed really starting to light up. Team Empire looking pretty solid over towards this high ground too. And all of a sudden, Mad Maggie is going to be in the meta after this game. <laughs> I told you we had to keep our eyes on what they were going to do with Maggie. And you know Bardoff is excited right now. The Empire is doing so, so well for themselves. Underrated in a bit of a pickle. And they do go down top. Two squads are left. It's Empire with the Maggie. Tom, what do you have to say about the Maggie now? <laughs> All right, listen, I thought he just got locked in because he was playing pubs. It was a strategic <laughs> pick, okay? You can see that Cleave is not messing around. Empire now looking to end this one. It's going to be a straight-up three-on-three around the corner. This is big. Will the value of Maggie come in clutch here, or is it going to be Maliwan and Ranches to go and clutch this one up for the Empire squad? It looks like they have them all trapped into the corner. No battery being popped. That's an interesting strap for Maliwan. I thought for sure he was going to go for it, Ooh. but they have the damage. They have the advantage, and now it's a three-on-one glitter. Oh. Empire looking like they're actually just being so methodical here closing out the game the final kill was so easy Apex champions. It is going to be a skyward dive as it continues to move and get tighter and tighter for 69 IQ Ooh. Esports Let's see where they go Splitting up to try and avoid the fire It is going to be a skyward dive rather than a skyward fall at least they will choose oh, no. when they when they do drop. Going to drop into the dome as well. But where do they go next? Because once that dome goes, they are very out in the open. They found a rock, but as we can see, there are some angles on the right hand side that they'll need to cover from. They've got grenades coming their way as well, and that wall might give them cover. The zone coming in, but first they've got to find some kills. Scars with six kills at the moment, looking for more. They're they've out. made it to seven, looking for nine. The 69 IQ now will be eliminated. And Scars will try to harvest as much as they can. They've got some boxes to help them, but that zone has closed them more. They've got fire coming from their left and their right as well. And 20 seconds until their next game, they've got to fight <gasps> fire with fire. Oh my god, underrated. We're actually pushing Totem Amaz. It is Totem eliminated, but did they get eliminated at the perfect time? I'm not sure if they went before underrated was taken out by Scars. That could be the difference. Underrated now having 48 points, I believe, to their name, and they are looking to put an emphatic exclamation point on this final game, leading into the last chance tomorrow to qualify for Sweden. Could it even be possible? It's Rats versus Scars. What will they do? Scars having one heck of a game, six. They already won one. Can they do it again? It's the Rats trying to stop it. A quick shield swap as well. Mandy and the Mastiff, we talked about it. Can he continue to show up, James, and clutch this one up for Scars? Both teams need this really badly for extremely different reasons, but Scars will take first place in the last game of the day, and what a run they had. 10 plus kills for the team. They took out some big names as well. Shut down Reply Totem and others. Scars go from strength to strength and finish the game and finish the day well. Yuki, the opportunity to poke and hit that shot. Yuki, you can see at the moment, it's just doing what he can to find an angle to hit the shot, but Brin is there, Brin's been spotted now by Alliance. Brin's been spotted, but he could be a thorn in the side Ooh. if he does damage, which he does, he hits Hackers hard, and now Kick may use this as the opportunity to push, they hear the, the gunshots going down, they're going to think about getting involved soon, but Brin is just being such a nuisance to both teams. He certainly is, he's got inside of the zone as well, there's uh -oh. coursing barrels everywhere, but he's just trying to buy time as Yuki does hit the shot onto Exacto, so that's going to be Alliance. With the numbers advantage, and here now comes the push. Hackis, the IGL, the leader, the heart and the soul of Alliance is pushing forward. The car in his hands as he now drops down from the heavens. Alliance has set up for a big victory here. Hackis will fall though. Hackis falls, but no worries because the rest of the squad is still there. Would be extremely punishing and might be the end of their journey. Vijex on this side there, gonna be playing right behind Navi, potentially on top of these buildings as Navi now has to make a crucial decision. Look at ATK though, one of the few teams to still hold on, have the god spot against all. Navi out, Ace v VJ still in this one. ATK wow. with by far the best position. I don't want them to be pushing here. I want them to be holding. So it looks like they're trying to go for a little bit of a, a power play here in the meantime. VJ, he's just biding his time. Let them fight. Let them Empire do their thing. The, the more go down, the better for them. Monitor looks like they will be 
punished here. That's Ascent it, is going to be out of this one. And all three squads have life. Ascent on fourth. Who will be able to come on, on top? Team Empire right now winning this fight inside. Able to get a refresh, but will be taken out by ATK, who are deciding to push in here. And that might have been the right call, as it's only two squads left alive. ATK with Team Empire. 2v2 situation. 2v1 situation. Team Empire looking like they might be able to get yet another win. And yet another win. It shall be us. Believable performance. Team Empire here in their final moments, picking up the win. I Sitting at third place prior to this, I am sure they're going to be taking this one home to the very first place position. They hold it in the open.